Hello, this is week eight, lesson two for orange and green groups. And today we are making halves. Okay, so have a look at this apple. We've got one whole apple here. Now, if I wanted to share this apple with Miss Ejas, what would I need to do? Yes, you're right. I'd need to cut it in half. Let's see, some magic. Let me see if I can cut it in half. Oh, look at that. One half and one half together make one whole. One half and another half. So two halves of an apple make one whole apple. Okay. This is also called fractions, all right? So let's have a look at these shapes over here. Oh, look at this, yum, yum. I've got a pizza here and I'm going to share it with Mrs. Ms. Chapman. So here is one whole pizza. If I cut it down the middle, Mrs. Chapman would have one half. I would have one half, two, Halves make one whole. Let's have a look with this other shape here, our rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to share this lovely coloured piece of paper with Mrs. Taylor. So Mrs. Taylor would like half of this paper to draw a little picture. Here is one half. Here is another half. Two halves make one whole but with this shape we can show half another way here is the whole piece of paper and this is one half and this is one half what's really important about this is that they are equal that they are the same both halves are the same because we wouldn't want Mrs. Taylor having a bigger piece of the paper than me or, or I having a bigger piece of, piece of the paper than Mrs. Taylor, okay? Both pieces, both parts, both, both halves need to be equal. Okay. This shape here, we've got our circle. I shaded it into two halves equally. What to do? Well, there's definitely two halves. There's definitely two parts, one part and the second part, two parts. But are they equal? No, they are not because they are not the same. If it was equal, it would be the same on both sides yeah you'd have two equal parts all right now let's have a look at this chocolate bar here and I'm gonna share with Mrs Bird but we should only eat chocolate in moderation as we know only a little bit of chocolate so here we've got a piece of chocolate but we want to share it equally into two halves with for me and Mrs Bird so how could I share this chocolate Okay, I could give Mrs. Byrne this part and I have that part. Is that equal? Yes, it is. Mrs. Byrne's got one, two, three pieces and I've got one, two, three pieces. So we both have three pieces. We both have the same amount. It is equal. So any other way that we could share this chocolate bar so that we have equal parts? So we have half, half each. Have a little think. What else could we do? Good idea. We could have one, two, three pieces for Mrs. Byrne and one, two, three pieces for me. Three and three equals six. Three and three is equal. The two equal parts. Okay, we would have half each. Any other way that we can divide up this chocolate? Mm. 
Oh, I can see what you're thinking. Let's see, you could do one, two, three pieces for Mrs. Byrne, and one, two, three for me. We would have the same amount each. We would have half of the chocolate each. Okay, your challenge is to, on your PowerPoint, you need to tick or cross the shapes to say whether they show half equally or not. And then you have to have a go at shading your shapes to show half. And there's lots of different ways that you could do that. Okay, have lots of fun. Bye bye.